everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Two Broke Sophomores. I'm uh, I'm Andy, and I am George. That's that's, that's good. Uh, yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so this podcast is about what? What is this podcast? I don't. I don't really know what this podcast is about. I think like, um, it's. Yeah. Well, I'd say the basic idea of it is we're gonna try and interview people. Yeah, like uh, I don't know if if any of you people saw Getting Real with Andrew Cohen. Probably not. Not a lot of people saw. Yeah, it. probably not a lot of uh people coming over from that. Yeah. N- most definitely not most i'm gonna upgrade that to a most definitely yeah um, uh but uh hopefully this one can gain some traction because we have two hosts instead yep. of one one guy just rambling into a to a microphone you know there's two people rambling into microphones it's twice the fun exactly twice the fun or twice the devastation that's what we'll discover <laughs> at two broke sophomores with george and andy yeah. If it if it's devastation or excitement. Yeah, uh, we'll find out soon. Yeah, so why did you so you you reached out to me to you wanted to start a podcast. Why did you reach out to me? I just worked with you before. Oh, so I was like a trusted person. Yeah, I was like I trust him. I feel like this is the the safe bet to get this going. Okay. Yeah, I I I I I appreciate that, but also I kind of wish I was more of a risk. No, there's no risk involved. Some sometimes I wish I was a risk though. Sometimes I wish I I was like yeah, don't we all? Do, sometimes I wish there was like insurance bonds for me. Just just for you? Just for me cuz they cuz people don't know what's going to happen when mm, when when true. I'm on a mic. That's what I kind of wish. And no one knows what's going to happen ever. No no one knows what's going to happen with this podcast. This could be the last episode. This actually could be. We could this actually, fail. we we could do this, and then not do any others, and it probably that that's there's like a fifty percent chance of that happening. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't like a very professional podcast either. We're not. No, <laughs> we're not being, we don't sound super professional right now. We just sound like two people just talking. Yeah, that's the hope. That's the hope I want for this podcast is that yeah, people sense the authenticity. Yeah, that 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 would be nice if people did. Yeah, they really sense that the name because the name is pretty accurate. We're both we're two people. Yeah, we're both broke. We're both broke. We're both trying. Well, you have a job. Yeah, where I have do a you job. work? Where do you work? Uh, I work at AMC Theaters. You, you know? work at AMC. Do they pay well? It's all right. It's all right. That's it's it. it's good benefits really, just because like films and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, so do you get like free films? Yeah. Okay. And like you can take home the movie posters and stuff. So. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. I I worked at a at a uh, this place called Curtain Call where it's like a theater and it was like kind of a summer camp for kids. Yeah. And um and yeah, I was a teacher's assistant to improv and singing. The improv I was much more of an expert in than singing. Um, yeah, when you said sing, that caught me off guard. I know you do improv, but I didn't know you sung. I I don't I don't sing. Um, so why? How'd you get a teacher's? At, what? Please. <laughs> <laughs> like, I this is a long intro right now, but yeah. I need to know the answer to this question. And as long as we're recording, they're gonna hear it. Yeah, they're gonna hear. It. Well, so the 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 director of education, uh, his name I'm not gonna say just because I don't have his permission and I'd rather not involve him if I have to. Uh, he he knew that I wanted to learn how to sing. So he was like, let's set him up with the singing, uh, the singing session. Because the way it worked is all the kids went to either um, acting, singing, or dance. So the natural one for me would be acting because I've done improv and I sort of know what I'm doing there, but he was like, no, Andrew seems like he wants to learn how to sing. So let's put him here. Maybe he can mm-hmm. learn a thing or two along with the kids. So I'm, I'm like helping and learning at the same time, which is kind of weird. It puts me at the same level with the kids, which is not good. 
um, you're you're supposed to represent. Yeah, authority. as a teacher's assistant, like you're supposed to be authoritative, right? Like, yeah, it doesn't sound like you really are. It sounds like you're just there. <laughs> probably some kids just, that know more than you. They they probably <laughs> the kids were better at singing than I was. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, well, actually, the thing was, I played guitar a lot, which mm. they didn't know. All right, so that's you where the authority. Up your sleep to surprise them with. Yeah, there was a couple of surprises that I was able. They were like, "You play guitar." I was like, yes, but I was I was also okay at guitar ah. <laughs> compared to how the teacher was at piano. It was it was definitely there was definitely he was definitely better at the piano than I was at the guitar. I would certainly hope the teacher's better at it than you. You're just a teacher's assistant. Yeah, if I was better than him, I was I would have gone to the director and be like, hey, listen, buddy over here, uh, not cutting it. We uh, I stage a coup with the with the camp, and it would be understandable. It would be it would be un- I think I think everyone would join in. I think I think yeah, I have I think full support. That would have been a very successful coup, and you would now be running a summer camp. <laughs> I, would, I think I would sacrifice. It would be like I think it would be like it would be like Willy Wonka and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where I would win and then. The director would be like, "Don't you see, Andrew? This camp is all yours now. Mm, it's this, exactly. You can move your whole family in." I, was like, I don't. I don't. I don't think they'd be up for that. This has gone off the rails very quickly. It really has. This is supposed to be a small <laughs> intro. This is, I don't even know how much of this is like usable. I. I. I don't. Th- I don't think any of this podcast is going to be usable, but we're still putting it out there. I feel like that that's is kind of the... yeah. We're just saying stuff and putting it out. I guess. Yeah. So, um, the next. So, I guess for the first episode, if we have one, it's going to be with uh, you can say the guest. I don't know his name. Um, uh, her. Her, her name. name. What's her name? A great start already. We already. I don't see. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, her name is Eleanor Bonifant. Uh, probably mispronouncing the. Last name there, but she is the writer and director of the Haunted Hour podcast. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. she should be coming on for the first interview for the first episode. Whenever we uh, do that, and so you worked at podcasting at Emerson, right? Yeah, I work. I work on the Haunted Hour. Okay did you, did I did I influence that when no. I when I. <laughs> When Not when I all. started podcasting I say, with you on Getting Real, was that like a prime influence in no, it, your decision? It was not. Um, unfortunately, it was not an influence at all. It wasn't? Yeah, I simply decided to go just because uh, I wanted to audition for stuff because it was my freshman year and they were hosting auditions. And I was just lucky. Like I just walked in and said, "Hey, can I audition?" And I said, "Yeah, whoever's meant to audition here has uh, isn't here." Because I heard they had some extra spaces, so I was going to go talk to them. So I was able to like do my audition straight away, and then I got in. Okay, I will probably edit in that that you did say I was an influence in that decision. I'll probably just, just I like, want you weren't though. I pro- <laughs> I'll I'll keep stating it. Like I'll, I'll be keep like, stating yeah, it. You're gonna, just, you're gonna state it throughout the entire season. Yeah, it's, you are in no way an influence in was... me going to be part of another podcast. Okay, well, um, because this is an awkward end to the intro. Um, yeah, me <laughs> saying you're not an influence, you're not an influence. <laughs> I'm just not an influence. I'm telling everyone on the podcast that one of the hosts is just not worth it. He's not worth it. It's mainly going to be, the end of this podcast is you're going to stage a coup, and it's just going to be you. Yeah, that is that is the end goal here to eventually push you out of this push podcast. Me out. It's gonna be like um, Joe Rogan did that. Uh, one, it wasn't Joe Rogan didn't like actually do it. I guess he had a producer, and he the producer didn't want to work on it anymore. So then he found a different producer. That's yeah, I'm gonna do that. Gonna, you're gonna do that. Okay. Well, I don't look forward to that happening. Yeah, that's, that's how this is going to go eventually. You're just not going to be here anymore. I'm just not going to be here. You're going to record episodes without me. I record episodes without you, and then we're like, what happened? And it's like, yeah, oh, that'll. Guess. Or this thing will just fade away, 
and never exist. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see. Um, well, how about you guys uh, look out for their first episode with... Yeah. That's, the, that's the cue. That was supposed oh, yeah. to be the cue. <laughs> first episode with uh, Eleanor Bonifant. <laughs> Um, and uh, from the Haunted Hour podcast, uh, see, see you guys then. Yeah, see you guys then. <laughs>